Hey guys, it's Charlie. It's November 23rd, Monday. Um, I just wanted to uh, say you're welcome to the state of Louisiana. Uh, on behalf of the rest of the 49 states, um, there you go. Enjoy the $300 million you get because your senator, Mary Landrau, decided that it was uh, in the best interest of her uh, constituents to accept a $300 million bribe so uh, the Senate, Harry Reid, could get uh, his one vote that he needed to get his bill out of committee and onto the floor for general debate. You know, th this is exactly why our country is, is being flushed down the toilet, because of corruption. You know, if you went, if you owned a construction company, a paving company, whatever, and you went to your mayor or your city councilman and you said, you know what? I'm going to give you $5,000 if you give me uh, this contract. Obviously, that's a, a blatant bribe, and you're going to prison. But even if you go up to him and say, look, make sure I get a favorable nod towards this uh, bid, and I'll donate $5,000 uh, on your behalf to whatever charity you want. It's just as illegal. And I know in D.C. they like to say things like, well, that's how you grease the, the wheels of politics, and that's how you make sausage. You know what? You're making sausage with our future. You're throwing us into the grinder to make sausage. And, and you need to stop because it's destroying our nation. Our national credit card is about maxed out at $12 trillion. Soon, Congress is going to be voting on increasing that limit. Our unfunded liabilities is in the uh, close to $100 trillion. Yet, they keep doing ridiculous things that the American people, A, don't want, and B, the Constitution does not allow. You know, there's a reason why these things happen on Saturday evening in Washington, D.C. It isn't because these are hard-working, patriotic Americans who are working on the weekend. No, they want as little coverage as possible when they go behind the backs of the American people and say, we know 65% of you don't want this. We know we can't afford it. We know we're sitting on 10.2% unemployment. We know that this is going to be the worst holiday season in the history of Christmas. But that's okay because we want to make a bigger bureaucracy and we want to give ourselves more power. It's absolutely sickening. And on that note, our president goes to China last week and basically gets a tongue lashing from the, uh, from the Chinese president. Uh, which, by the way, Saturday Night Live, uh, if you haven't seen that skit, look it up. It's absolutely hilarious. But he goes over there and gets dressed down because of uh, the way that uh, we are treating their investment, their $800 billion investment. And immediately the president comes out and starts talking about how we have to live within our means, we have to quit uh, doing so much deficit spending, and we have to start saving more. And I, and I find that to be insulting, uh, personally, because never, you know, George W. Bush spent trillions of dollars uh, in, in wars that we shouldn't be fighting and um, giving the money to the, his corporate buddies. But President Barack Obama has spent four times as much money in, in what, a year? And, and for him to go on, on his national radio address and talk to the American people about how uh, well, we got to quit this deficit spending. He better be careful because that is his constituency that he's spending all this money to give jobs to. You know, uh, that's his constituency that he's uh, spending his money to give cash for clunkers to, or first time credit, home buyer credit, or banker bailouts, or stimulus uh, boondoggles. So I, I think it's funny and ironic. And, and in a way, you know, it, the, the ship's coming apart. You know, and, and he. He is absolutely uh, painted into a corner because either he is uh, a man of his word and he's going to stop this deficit spending, stop this uh, money creation uh, out of thin air or borrowing, and, and raise the interest rates, and then watch the economy uh, go to – or the Wall Street go to where it should be, which is about 4,000 points, or he's going to keep – placating to uh, his constituency and his want-to-be constituency and printing money and spending money like it's going out of style so he can get his Democratic majority through the 2012 elections. Either way it goes, it's going to be a very ugly scene. You know? So you know, the advice is still up on the blackboard, prepare, because uh, 
I see things coming to a head very soon. I don't see how they could not. You know, you have our biggest uh, lenders consistently telling us, stop, stop what you're doing. You're destroying your dollar. You're destroying our investment. You're destroying your own economy. And now they want an input to our health care plan. Um, and you have unemployment rising and now Christmas sales are, the, you know, what makes the business, what makes the sales for most businesses in this country is in the next 30 days. And I think we all know, even though Gallup puts out a report saying uh, it's projected to be better than uh, last year, and what's ironic about that is immediately all of the uh, news media outlets latched onto that thing first thing this morning. Hey, it's projected that uh, Christmas sales are going to outpace last year's. And I'll post that, that Gallup uh, survey with this video. But I heard it uh, no less than three times a day being touted as one of the reasons why the stock market was rallying. Um, but it's, it's, it's insanely funny to me because, you know, most people are worn out with the uh, cheerleaders drum beating. Most people don't believe in the green shoots anymore. They don't believe that recovery is here. And as far as everybody I talk to, I don't know one single person who plans on spending even half of what they did last year. You know, how, do you, how are you going to try to convince the American people that with foreclosures on the rise, with uh, credit card defaults at an all-time high, with 10.2% unemployment U3 number, 18% U6 number, and no prospect of true hope of recovery, how are you going to convince us that we should go out starting the day after Thanksgiving and spin, spin, spin? That's what they want. Even though President Obama comes out and says it's time to save, you know, it's time to stop deficit spending, you know, they want you to go out and take your credit cards uh, the day after Thanksgiving and start spending like mad because uh, the economy is teetering on that edge and a 50% uh, decline in holiday sales is going to spell disaster for this winter and this economy. At any rate, that's all I got.